National University is celebrating the class of 2022 tomorrow. Joining us now is the National University's interim president, Randy Frisch, and graduating senior, Maria Alessandra Ali white Good morning to you both. Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Thank Paul. you. Good morning. Your friends call you Allie, so can yes. I call you Allie? Yes, sir. Allie? Yes. You don't have to call me sir, call me Paul. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, it's over, right? I mean, now, yes, so finally. tell us about uh, getting to the finish line. It's been a journey. <laughs> I've done so much, um, I've had children and marriage and moves, um, house fires and just so many different things that have happened um, and now it's finally here. So it's kind of surreal still for me that tomorrow I'm graduating. To accomplish all that and to reach this significant milestone speaks to your character oh, and it speaks you. to the institution a little bit about being flexible and making it work for you, right? Absolutely. And that's where you come in, sir, because, you know, I say this all the time on the show, I'm, I'm sure people get tired of me saying it, but to me, longevity is one of the pillars of greatness, and the fact that you're celebrating 50 years speaks to the institution. It does. It speaks to uh, faculty and staff who uh, help uh, students like Allie who have the determination and the grit to get through a challenging program, and it's what National University has done for 50 years. Uh, nearly 200,000 alums from National University. Very excited to have uh, another 2,300 tomorrow walk across the stage. And, and, and congratulations. Do you find that, I think a lot of people are becoming disgruntled with higher education per se, and they are seeking alternatives. And do you feel like you're filling a much needed void? You know, they're, they're, uh, National University fills a void. That's exactly right. Uh, there are people who um, look for higher education uh, for uh, employment opportunities, and that's been really the hallmark of National University. If you're looking to improve your current position or to change careers, uh, students uh, like Allie can find success at National University because uh, our faculty are uh, attuned to uh, students who have a variety of life experiences. You, you are a grinder to the finish line, and the oh, and I'm going to get back to that. No. But but your commencement speaker is also in a sport that requires endurance and grinding. And can you speak a little bit to having Meb uh, be your uh, commencement address? Yeah, speaker? Meb Kafliski is uh, an inspiring story. Um, immigrant from Eritrea, uh, he uh, is the winner of the New York Marathon, the Boston Marathon, uh, a four-time Olympic medalist. Um, his story is inspiring and it speaks to our students at National University who have often had to endure hardships and challenges. And which kicks the ball right back to you. <laughs> now that you have this piece of paper that says that you're a graduate, what's the next step for you? I would like to continue working with the population experiencing substance use disorder. Um, so I'm going to be pursuing more education. <laughs> I'd like to get my master's. Um, eventually, I think I would like to become a PA um, and work in direct patient care and then try to make some organizational cha uh, changes that would alleviate the barriers that they experience to treatment. So whether you know it or not, mm -hmm. sitting in this chair, you are an ambassador for this fine institution. So I think maybe it should be you that looks into that camera <laughs> right there and speaks to other kids who are per perhaps considering uh, what you were considering, speak to them. Tell, uh, speak from the heart, if you will. I would not be where I'm at without National. Um, I was struggling, you know, to afford classes, um, to find classes that fit into my schedule of being a mom to three little girls and working as a medical assistant. Um, and National's flexibility with the courses and their accelerated courses made it so much more manageable for me. Um, and then having opportunities like the Honors Fellows for Social Change Scholarship, um, that program to enhance something that I'm already so passionate about and get more opportunity to work with that, um, while also paying for my degree, was it's, it's been everything to me. So I, I really truly wouldn't be where I'm at without the help that National has had for me or given to me. And Rap, that's a commercial. And, <laughs> so and Paul, you just got your spot. Thank you. And Paul, yeah. if you have that cap and gown in cellophane, you can walk tomorrow. I will make sure you get across the stage. Oh, I messed up twice at the end. And, but I, 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 you know, I had to grind in summer school both times, but, you know, being a stupid kid, I did stupid things. But... Um, National is where you come to yes. get the second chance. All right. Hey, I appreciate you both coming in, Thank and I, so I wish you uh, a great ceremony, and congratulations on the first 50, and I hope that you enjoy another 50. Thank you. Is the title interim going to go away, or is are you... 
Well, you never know, so <laughs> let's hope. All right, well, I root for you on that scorecard as well. Okay? Thank you. 